So, so now we're going to go into the technique. Okay, so it's the trap and roll. And there's different ways of trapping the arm or the, or the post to take it away, to remove that quadrant. Okay, so I'm going to run through a couple of um, potential ways of trapping. And then I'm going to show you the direction of how I bump and I do the trap and roll or the bump, bump and roll. Okay. All right, so Cam's going to mount me. And, and because we've been working into this quadrant, I'm just going to kind of keep aiming. So maybe he's, he's like lower down and his arms are like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and remove a post. So the arm comes up, I swim around, I tuck that in. My other hand comes over to, to help maintain this position. And this is important here. So if I don't hold him down, just pull the arm out. Okay. If I... Hold him down, now try. Okay, so now I stay connected to him. So I've tracked this arm. Just if you can just turn your hand so it's yeah, so I don't want to bust your wrist when I'm rolling. Okay, so I'm holding him down, I've got this post removed. Then what I'm gonna do is with my foot, I'm gonna track the outside of the foot on the same side. Okay. From here. This hand over the back, I'm going to basically dive it across into the quadrant that I want us to roll. So as I bump, I bump, I turn my head like I'm looking into that quadrant. This hand drives, bang. That's super easy. Okay. All right. So that's one way of trapping. So you can go around. Another way of trapping might be so maybe he's mounted and he's got his hands like on my chest or in a self-defense situation, maybe he's, he's tracking me. All right. So what I'll do is this hand will weave through the arms. I'll grab his wrist because I don't want him to be able to post out this way. I'll grab the back of the elbow, try and pull the arm out. Okay, I've got a nice good grip there. This foot, again, Locks the outside of this foot. And then another little detail is this leg here on the other side. I need to make sure that Cam hasn't grade find that leg. So if he's grade find it, I have a few other issues which I'll address later. But for now, my foot's on the center, it's inside his foot. And from here, I'm just going to bump and roll. So I bump, boom, I look in the direction. Okay, I know I'm, I'm breaking it down a lot. So just move into this position so you've got inside control, controlling the arm so it can't punch you. And from here you can build up your posture and then look to pass. Okay, another way of doing this, and sometimes this happens when you roll. So hands mounted me, and maybe he's headlocked me. I want you to headlock me with this side, so cross face here. Okay, so it's cross face me. It's just like uncomfortable. So what he's done is he's removed his post from here. Now a lot of times guys also will grape on the legs. So they put their hooks in, they grape on the legs, and, and even if I detract this side here and try to bump, if he drives this leg up, his hip drops down, so not out, up. Okay, and I have no power in my head. Okay, so what I'm going to do is with this here, I go hand around my head, I trap that, my other arm over the back to keep him down, to remove the hook. And remember, I only need to remove the hook on the one side. I kick my leg straight, I swim it in, and as soon as it hits the mat, so you see how I try to bring it as close to my butt as possible, and it's almost like on the center line of my body. From here, I now start the bump. Boom. Drive. And over we go. Okay, back into this position. From here, hold the posture. And I look at passing. Okay, so that's, in a nutshell, the trap and roll. Um, three different ways of trapping the arm. And then... Speaking about 
the direction of movement and then also making sure that the guy hasn't grabbed by the far side leg. So if I'm going this direction, I want to make sure that this leg hasn't been grabbed by. Okay, to remove it, what I'm doing is I'm here, so I've trapped, I'm holding the guy down, which is important. So I kick this out, I swim it in, as soon as it hits there, I drive, I bump, I look in the direction, that arm drives in the, the direction I want to go, so that's at 45 degrees. Boom. And we move to basically we're in full guard, but we're on top. Okay, awesome.